Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video and the beginning of yet another series here on the channel. I've got like five series going on right now, but there's always room for another, and this one's gonna be cool. This is the start of me going over the enigmatic backrooms levels, which are the wackiest of the whack levels in the backrooms. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned for the video, because I'm going to be going over two enigmatic levels in each of them. And if it doesn't sound interesting, then you're a loser. And you should probably go sub to my second channel. Alright, with that out of the way and the losers gone, let's get into the video. So first, I'm going to have to explain to you what enigmatic levels are. Enigmatic levels are specific areas, levels, or locations in the backrooms that are too weird to be placed along with the normal levels. Some of them are safe, some of them are really dangerous, but all of them are weirder than normal. Which is saying something, because all of the normal levels in the backrooms are weird too. Most of the enigmatic levels are actually new or newly discovered, so you might not have heard of any of them. And the first one I want to cover today is called Level Unnamed. Level Unnamed is classified as a class undetermined, which is what most of these levels are going to be classified as, so get used to it. And it was discovered sometime back in June 2020. The design and layout of this level is kind of like a big circle that revolves around like a spiral until you get to the middle of it. It doesn't help that the halls and the floors all look the same and the halls are all circle shaped and bend constantly in a spiral pattern. So it makes it pretty disorienting for sure and people who have been here say that the level makes them actually physically sick and even depressed sometimes. The texture on every object has been described as the texture of oil paint. Specifically, it looks like an oil painting. The outside area of the spiral, which is where you spawn in, is less oily, and the inner part of the spiral hallways are more oily. It's also worth noting that making any skin contact with any part of the level will start to make you transform into a hollow one. Now, the hollow ones are a group of 20 to 30 humanoid type things that are made entirely out of oil paint and they walk the halls. They're typically pretty chill and docile and they won't attack you, which is nice. However, if you're too close to the quote, blank, 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 blank altar, then they get really aggressive and they'll try to tackle you. Some of the hollow ones have the Meg logo on them, and apparently all of them were humans trying to get to the blank 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 why so many blanks. All I know is that you shouldn't touch anything unless you want to be turned into an oil painting man. To enter this level, you can no clip through art in a trash can on level 57. The art is signed by quote the artist, and you just have to no clip through the painting to get here. To exit the level, you can just no clip back through the art that you were holding so make sure you're holding on to it still, and you can just no-clip right back through it to get back to where you were. But I do want to note that you cannot no-clip through the walls here, or you'll instantly be turned into a puddle of oil and then form into a hollow one. So only no-clip through the painting. Nice. Next up is an enigmatic level, obviously, called Induced Fear. And just like the other level, it's classified as a class undetermined and is really mysterious. This level supposedly exists in a different reality or in a different pocket dimension type area than the normal backrooms because you can't get to it by normal backrooms transportation means. The level looks like an abandoned town that's constantly having this really dark fog rolling through it. The houses and the buildings are all accessible, but the doors don't work like normal so you have to find a way to break in and each building looks different on the outside and the inside. And the inside of the houses all have tons and tons of furniture. Each of the pieces of the furniture looks wacky or weird or broken in some way, and most of it's just trashed. And there's literally so much furniture that it's hard to walk around and explore the insides of the buildings. There are in some rare cases supplies inside the houses, but it's not likely you'll find any, and if you do, there won't be much of it, so it's kind of useless. But if you are inside a house, it's recommended to not stay there for a long period of time because multiple people have said that you get extreme paranoia and hear footsteps walking into the house from the outside if you stand in one spot for too long. This level's full size is actually unknown since lots of people who have been here get memory loss for some reason and they can't remember how big it was, but it is thought to be huge. 
One unique thing about this level is that each object has a weird ability to just grab and silence sound waves. So pretty much every object will absorb any sound that happens the second it happens. So there's literally no noise or echoes. And if you do hear footsteps or something like that, then you're just making it up in your head, but it still makes you go crazy and more paranoid. Wanderers who have heard these things, even though it's silent, have reported that they get extreme fear and anxiety about everything in the level. It's like they know it's completely silent, but they still hear things, which makes it even more creepy. And this might be the reason for that memory loss. So due to not enough actual evidence, this level still isn't proven to actually exist. And some say it's just a state of mind and not a real tangible place, but instead a place where your mind goes to get freaked out because you're in the back rooms. There are no bases here, and there's also no confirmed entrance, but it's theorized that in order to enter, you have to have some kind of mental instability from the past. It's kind of like that horse thing from Harry Potter that only people who have witnessed somebody unaliving can see the horse, kinda. And in order to exit this level, you have to completely let yourself go insane due to how quiet it is. I kid you not, that's what it says, and that's the only way out. I told you these levels were weird. That's it for the video, I do hope you enjoyed it. Enigmatic levels are pretty cool and they're pretty weird, so let me know if you want to see more. Thank you to everyone watching the videos and supporting me, genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much for 120k, I just cannot believe it. That's just, <laughs> it, the channel's gained 20k in 3 weeks, it originally took me 3 months to gain 20k and we did it in 3 weeks. I, wow, thank you all so much. Make sure you go check out my second channel if you want to see some gaming or IRL videos. It's going to be a fun time over there. The goal is to get that channel to 100k by the end of the year, so the grind's about to start. Thank you to my patrons and channel members, as always, for supporting me a little bit extra. Thank you all so much. You can check all the links down below in the description if you want to get in contact with me or join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, do whatever you want to. Make sure you drop a comment telling me what videos you want to see, what levels you want me to go over, just what you want to see. I also want to give a quick announcement about merch coming in the summertime. I am working on several designs which I will release on here on Discord for you to vote on your favorite couple of them and then I will just be releasing those this summer. I'm trying to find the best platform to do it through so I can get it the cheapest possible price for you all. Worldwide shipping, I'm trying to get it accessible to everybody. I'm also trying to make stickers and stuff like that. So hopefully you all are going to be ready for that. Hopefully you're going to be able to rep Brugly me this summer while you're going out and doing stuff. This summer is going to be crazy. I hope you all are ready for it. If you have any Brugly fan art that you want to either see on merch possibly or to show me, make sure you join the Discord down below. The Brugly Discord, there is an art and animations tab. I want you to go there and I want you to upload it and I want you to ping me Brugly and I will come look at it and you just might get your artwork on merch and if you do you'll obviously get credited and stuff like that also make sure you turn your post notices on youtube is being goofy sometimes you gotta love them but sometimes they're a little bit goofy but yeah make sure you turn those on all right enough stalling i'll see you later